Hello, I'm Claudia McKayef. I'm an environmental scientist with the California Department of Fish and Wildlife. Today, I'm going to show you how to rebury pismo clams. First, pick a spot to dig a hole in the wet beach sand. Ideally, rebury the clam back in the same hole that you pulled it from. Make sure the sand is wet. When the tide comes up, the clams need to be covered by water because pismo clams need fresh ocean water to live, breathe, and eat. Find the button where the two clam shells come together. This is the hinge ligament. This button is on the side where the clam siphon is, and it needs to point up. Find the hinge end of the shell. Make sure the hinge side faces the ocean. Completely cover the clam with sand. A good rule of thumb is at least two inches of sand covering the hole. For a quick recap, dig a hole in the wet sand, place the clam in the hole, button up with the hinge facing the ocean, and cover the hole with at least two inches of sand.